What's going on? Welcome back, guys. And in this video, we talk about how you can activate Google Maps on iPhone, whatever the model it is. But here's how you can do it. Before we begin, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and you never miss videos like these in the future. So uh, the first step, what you got to do is to make sure you go inside of the App Store and look up the Google Maps right there. Make sure you get the app as first. So download it if you already have it. Look up if you don't have any updates, update the app and we can start with the uh, activating, I guess. So you open up the app and what you're going to do is, I mean, obviously you can start browsing the map and use the search bar and everything. But the important part is to make sure that you are signed in as in, this is how you can get started to use it, you know, to like save your favorite location and stuff. So tap on this icon right here, make sure you are signed in. And if not, you can add a new account or, you know, sign out and use a different one. So very useful and make sure you are using it with an account. And also, as you can see, my app is like working fine. I can browse the app, but I cannot really activate the navigation or anything like that and that is because the app doesn't have access to my location so in order to give it permission to use it i need to close the app open up the settings in here and in the main section i gotta scroll down towards the bottom tap on apps right here make sure i find the google maps from the list and at the top we have the location so I would recommend you to turn it on while using the app, which is kind of useful for me. I don't really like the always option, even though it might be useful in our times too. So uh, yeah, that's, that's an option as well. But essentially the precise location should be turned on as well, because without it, you only have like an estimate or approximation of your location, not the exact one on the map. So these are the, the settings which are kind of necessary. And now you can start using the app it is pretty much you can consider it to be activated. So that's it. Hope you found this video helpful. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'm going to catch you in the next one.